Yeah. And I like all my interesting items here. We've got all the different pewter things. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I am out estate sale shopping here in the Villages, Florida. So we're gonna head on into this one here and see what we can find. Let's go. All right, let's head into this estate sale. Prices are firm today, it says. There's a little basket. I guess I'll grab it. I might be able to fill it, you never know. Looks like they've got one of these reproduction phones here. These are Arthur Court. They have elephants. They're Arthur Court, like little butter pats. $10. I mean, that's more than I'd prefer to pay, but they're elephants, which is pretty cool. Arthur Court is aluminum. It's like aluminum ware. There is some uh, whatchamadoodle. There's a longa burger. There's a lot of stuff over here. Let's look. Looks like they got resin. This is Fenton. $28. It's aluminum. Beanie Babies. Let's see. Ornament hangers. Some boxes of elephants. This one's $4. It actually looks really good. I'll double check it later. Look at this giant crystal for $13. And there's this elephant for nine. This one's Linux crystal. I'll get that one and I'll get this one. Oh God, I must drop that. Hudson Pewter for eight. It's a happy whale. I'll get that one too. This looks like Fenton. It is Fenton. 40. These salt and peppers are adorable. They're individually priced. J. Wilfred. I like this owl. Too. Oh, that's a heavy owl. That's also pewter for 10. It's a very heavy pewter. Mm hmm. These are interesting. That's pewter. $18. This horse. Glass at $7. Oh, but the tail's been broken off. Somebody chewed its tail off. Unless that's supposed to be. Do you think it's supposed to be this way? I think maybe. I don't know, actually. I don't know. There's this elephant. This basket's pretty. $3. I like this one too. It has its little sign, 2002. That's nice. Oh, look at the walking stick as well, 45. But there's like a animal head on top of it. Let's see, what do we have over here? This is a pretty vase. $7, let me readjust my basket. I, literally, I'm not holding it the right way. I had it under my arm and my shoulder was hurting. $7. I'm not familiar with this, but I'll get it anyway. Okay, let's use the handles. Use these handles. Also, they have the willow tree figures and then a Linux vase for seven. Let's go this way. It's kind of dark wood. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at these things a little bit more carefully. That beaded is six dollars for that beaded one. Candles. This is four, whatever it is. Oh, that's a pretty tile for three. The crystal is neat, but thirteen dollars. Oh, look at this one. This little duck. Drink it for seven. This is really pretty. That's cute. I might get that one too. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. I'll get that as well. Let's head to the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's that way, but it's kind of busy over there. 
Maybe it will mm, try to get to it. Here's the lanai. Hi, lanai. Not much to see. Oh, pretty, pretty. Look at all the, the uh, yards and everything. There's part of a ceramic tree. I think that's a tree. I don't know what I'm looking at, honestly, down there. I don't know. We'll go to the kitchen now. It's over here. All right, so they've got these pieces here. We're not going to be in this room very long because they've got the music and there's a lot of people. Oh, they've got... Oh, that's so expensive. Eight dollars for the... Oh, it's half caffeine. Well, that's useless. We want all the caffeine in our coffee. All of it. Oh, more of these... Oh, it's a tiny little guy. Made in Italy. We've got that turkey for $12, the covered one. You have King's Crown and the Cranberry and Clear, those goblets right there. Looks like lots of cookbooks. Some little birds. Oh, they've got an outdoor kitchen too over here. I didn't even realize. It's like all set up. There's ice buckets and everything. Oh, look at that. Look at these little guys. That's neat. It's six dollars. What are you? Kaiser's in? Oh, I've sold that before. Six dollars. I like it. Don't you think that's neat? With a spoon and everything? For six, I'm gonna get that. But then also, there's this one. Honestly, there's some really cool pieces here. I like this one for two. Nice little vessel. I'll get this one. That's sugar dish. That's pewter. So they obviously liked pewter. This is neat too. For $8. I'm going to get both of those. I like both of those. There's this little spoon with this horse and this guy on it. I suppose it goes with that because it's with it. This little strainer thing. I was considering this. It's not marked, but it's neat. You could put, oh, well, you could put something on each side. I think it's cool. I'll get it. Uh, okay. They do have all these like little, I guess they're miniature steins. They're also pewter with the markings on there. You can actually figure that out based on which series of um, pictures are on there and when it was made and everything. Oh, neat. Okay. I think that's all the ones I want to do out of there. The spoon is neat. I would get the spoon, but it's not priced. Probably goes with that thing. Is that like a soup bowl or something? I don't know. I don't know. But I got this stuff, which is good. Oh, that's the line to get out of here. That's what that was. Okay. Here's the fabric department. Um, on the newer side, usually. Oh, I mean, mostly. Bedroom's busy over there. Look at here. Oh, that's a pretty scene. Who did you? It's $140. Charles Waisaki. Yeah, he's a pretty good early American print artist. Does a lot of these scenes like this. Very similar to Jane Wooster Scott. Happy St. Patrick's Day. There's a girl with her butt in the air. For 26. Okay, let's go to this bedroom over here. Oh, maybe. That's a neat rug for three. Okay. Hmm. I added one more little elephant guy to the basket here. So, looks like it's made out of some sort of shells or something. Here, let me see. Yeah, $6. I'm double checking for any issues because there's all these like little delicate spots with the trunk and the ears and everything. 
but it's, it's just a really interesting piece for six dollars so yeah and i like all my interesting items here we've got all the different pewter things oh yeah here's that that um bedroom again oh those are pretty yeah forty five dollars for that one and thirty five for that one it's a pineapple table. It's $650, but it's like wood, the whole base, and then the glass top. A pineapple table. Okay, estate sale number two, and this house is also pending. Must be very popular. But it's pretty landscaping. Well, it's just rocks, but that's nice. There's a bottleneck here. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. That's kind of similar to mine, except it looks like there's a little bit more swirling in it. It's a pretty countertop. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be buying stuff, I forgot. Um, they've got shelves. Uh, napkin rings, 16, oh my. Must be silver plate. Hmm. Pineapple mug, edible, $3. Some planters, books, uh, an old Keurig. There's more books over here. Nice big pottery as well. $10. I wonder what that is. Eh, it's made in China is what it is. Let's go to the bedroom. The floor is pretty. Lamps sold. I wonder how much. They have 150 on the nightstands. That's a pretty, oh look, the enclosure back there. And they've got a pool with a bird cage. Go this way. Oh, that's a nice bed. I like that. Some artwork. 75 for the three of them. Mohair chair. Yep. That's the Al Capone chair. Al Capone. 3,000. It's a very hairy chair. <laughs> Apparently Al Capone did something with this. Oh, formerly owned. Okay. Al Capone. So, you gotta watch out for bloodstains. It's pretty. I like that set. It's nice. Oh, here's the other bedroom. Look at those tables. Oh my gosh. Sally, Cirque, and Lewis. 600 each or a thousand for the pair. Those are amazing. I mean, they need a little work, don't they? Or is that part of the texture? I think they cracked or... I can't tell if that's intentional. I see the cracks on here. No, this is in real good shape. Maybe the sun did that. And go with the gray, right? Although it's down here too. It's everywhere. It's really long. Do you think those are actually deco? You would have to go. No, on these the aren't wall. that old. These are from like the seventies or eighties, aren't they? Or the nineties? Here's the sliding glass door over here. It's a nice closet. No, that's the that's in front of the windows. I'm gonna put Yeah, these are definitely not art deco. They're styled to be art deco. But they're too new. The um, the wood is it, and everything is too new, and the screws and everything. Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. It's a nice view of your neighbors. All right, so we're now back at the house, and there are a few surprises here that I will get to and tell you about. But let's start over here. We have the Arthur Court butter knives, and they are of elephants. I did show those in the video earlier but they have the trunks up. Always a sign of good luck, but they are Arthur Court, and they have the original box. I did pay $10, but there's elephant collectors, there's Arthur Court collectors, and they're just really interesting uh, aluminum pieces. So I thought those were, were pretty cool. Glad I got those. Now this one here, there's a couple interesting things going on over here. So this, I believe, is tin, like aluminum, or a mixture of it, 
but it's this wonderful little bowl here and I actually don't know a whole lot about it. So if anybody knows much about this, let me know. From what I've been able to look up, it seems like it could be very old, sometime in the late 1800s. But we've got this little figure there on that one, on actually both sides of the handle there. This nice flower in the center, and I moved the price tag down here so that it could, wouldn't block the, the, the design. But yeah, for $2, this seems like a pretty early piece as well. So definitely not my normal thing, but I did pick it up. Also in the same vein of things like that, this one here for $6. Now, from what I could figure about this, it is Kaiserzen and it is written on the bottom. That's the nice thing about it. So this would be dating anywhere between the late 1800s and about 1914 when the company did go under due to World War I. So has this little spoon. I'm not entirely sure if the spoon is accurate to the piece or somebody put the spoon in with it at some point. Has its own little mark here. I can't seem to figure out what that mark is at all, but it looks neat together. I don't, I don't know if this is a sugar dish, a spice dish, or what. Quite interesting that it doesn't fully fit, but maybe it was just the way it was at the time whenever they made it. So the crown motif on there, on the very top, you've got this little bit of like a flower, and then it picks up down here, kind of. Um, I think there's also a little leaf, yeah, hanging off the, the branch there. So it's just an interesting piece, I think, for $6 with quite a bit of age on it, really. This here, same kind of scenario. This one has what looks like a cupid holding a feather or a horn or something. It does say 98% tin aluminum. So that's pretty cool. It's this metal, has the wooden handle on it. And I just thought it was interesting for $8. Just a neat display piece. You could use it for candy or whatever, really. But I'm glad I picked that one up as well. So, oh, and then the other only one, the, the other one like it is this, $6. It's divided, as I showed you. So it's a mixture of that side and the other. But there's this angel inside of an oval. Again, I think it's a very early piece. So this could be pewter, maybe or an amalgamation of a couple metals. I don't know for sure, but it is just an interesting little dish. Footed, even has like the little, I don't know if you can see the like little claw foot bottoms to it. But yeah, I, I thought that was neat. All right, moving on to some other items. This here again, a little bit out of what I know and what I've dealt with, but I don't know if this is out of a plant, like this, if this was like some sort of a root or a, I don't know. If anybody happens to know what this is, drop it in the comments below if you can, but I do not know. Now, my first inclination was, well, maybe it's resin or something because of the striations like that, but this could be a natural thing that just happens to have that sort of striations in it. Uh, you can see the carved marks there, but it's this really cool elephant, and for $6, I just, I picked it up as well. Now, this glass elephant is Linux, as I mentioned earlier. Linux did quite a lot of ceramics, but then they did some glass as well. Not known for it as much, but it's a really pretty elephant, $9, and it's good. There's no chips or cracks. It's very clean, clear, So, and it's lead crystal. You can feel the weight in that. Lead crystal is known for being a little heavier because there is actual lead in it to make it that... Um, heavy and clear, but also you can see that there's a slight rainbowing. You can see the rainbow right in the ear there. See how it's nice and pretty? Oh, and the trunk, that rainbow on the right there. So yeah, lead and it's just heavier than pressed glass. I got this one here for $3. Nice one. Not sure what kind of wood that is. It is lightweight, similar to Monkey Pod but I don't know in this particular instance. It's $3, it was $3. I thought that was a pretty decent price, so I got it. Now I did see there was another elephant. I put it back. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it had a, it was broken and glued back together. I noticed that while I was standing in line, so I put it back. This one here, another different thing for me. And I 
I don't know. It says Donar, I believe, D-O-N-A-R. I don't know if that's from Israel or what exactly. It's very lightweight, thin. It's thin and lightweight. I would worry if I dropped it from this far from the counter, it'd probably break. It's because it's that thin, but it's really, really lovely. I love all the colors in there. So I'm glad I got that for $7 and I think it would do pretty well for me. You can hear that way it sounds. Napkin rings, four of them for $3. I don't see any markings on these. I tried looking those up as well and I could not figure it out. So I'm just gonna take them for what they are, little napkin rings that are shaped like elephants and I, I think they're pretty cool for the, all the elephant people. And this one, this is heavier, $8 for the pewter, Hudson Pewter, it's marked nicely on there, USA. Uh, 604 and then WF written on the bottom as well as USA but yeah it's just a neat looking dolphin or whale or whatever it is heavier of course because pewter is heavier and then this one here I, I could not find anything on it either there are no markings it has a little bit of weight to it has all the little rhinestones in there it's adorable for spring and it was seven dollars so like a little pill box or something. I just thought it was fun. So it's enameled on the interior as well. And then enameled and rhinestoned on the exterior. You've got the green there. It's just pretty. So overall, I kind of do wish I would have gotten more of the pewter that was there. But in the moment, it's not something I had really dealt with much. So I just picked the things that were most interesting to me. The things that I, I felt the most strongly about. Like vessels, like looking like steins and things. I thought, well, I don't know. I don't have a lot of ex people. I don't know. It's just that this functional pieces like this, a little bit more interesting to me than like a little cup or something. While you could put stuff in a cup, all of course, but you could put sugar in here and it's just more utilitarian for today's kinds of things. And just overall more interesting. But yeah, I could have gotten all of them and I'm thinking, oh, well, I should have just gotten maybe that bowl, that bowl that we saw with the spoon. That was pretty interesting as well. Could have gotten that at least. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Some interesting new things. All right. So we did pretty well. The first estate sale for sure. This last one, we were just little looky loos. We didn't do anything, but that's all right. I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.